Hey, writers! How's it going? It's Megan coming at you live in the All Writers Welcome Facebook group. And today I'm going to talk about how to write your opening scene. Woohoo! Okay, why the opening scene? Because it's hard to get started, right? You have a lot of ideas about what you want to write, you're excited for your novel, but actually sitting down and getting started to write when there's that blank screen or that blank piece of paper staring back at you is really intimidating. So today I'm going to share a strategy about how to get started and make it not a big thing and even fun. If you can have fun writing your opening, ooh, that's even better. All right, so let's jump in. Um, there are basically three strategies I'm going to give you to make your opening scene easier, um, and they're all part of one cohesive whole. So these are three things that you're going to want to do to make your opening scene a lot easier to write. The first thing is use a formula. Ooh, we love formulas. We love writing recipes. If you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you shouldn't. You know, don't waste your energy and effort thinking about what you're going to include in your opening scene. You want to use your effort and energy on your creative ideas. So if you use a formula, then you know all the things you need to include and you just have to go, oh, I'll do one of those, one of those, one of those. Okay. So here's the formula I recommend. It's really simple. You're going to go, huh? That's it. Super, super simple. The formula is to ask yourself these questions and then your scene will be writing the answers to them. Okay, so the first question is, where would your protagonist be on a typical day? Okay. The second question is, what would your protagonist be doing on a typical day? Not so difficult. And then the third question is, why is today different? So that's it. That's the formula. Let me talk a little bit about why that formula, because you might say, oh, that's kind of boring. That's not... Nobody's, uh, nobody's getting attacked by a shark, although maybe that's what's different about today. But let me give you a little bit of background on why those are three great questions to use for your formula for your opening scene. The first question is, where would your protagonist be on a normal day? And what that's going to allow you to do is describe your world a little bit. Every author has a world, even if you are not writing in an imaginary world, because your world um, is made up of the important settings in your book. So even in realistic or literary fiction, there are settings that are important. What's the office building like where your character goes to work every day? Is it dreary or is it fun and creative? Um, is your character living in this like hilarious, wonderful apartment, like on Friends, and, you know, somebody's always showing up with a fun and interesting problem, or is your character living in an isolated, terrible one-room apartment, and the neighbors are always fighting, right? So it's like, your where is actually a big part of drawing us into your world. So using that in your formula draws your readers into the world. We're like, oh, I know what, I know what it's like in this place, and I'm excited. Okay. So that's why you want to talk about where your character would be. The what would your protagonist be doing on a typical day is going to give us insight into your protagonist's life circumstances. Who is this person? Is she getting up and going to a job? Is she slaying dragons? Is she driving a truck? Is she slaying dragons with her truck as she drives through and then she collects the dragon's treasure hoard in the, in the back of her big rig. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, but, you know, we get to see who this person is and um, what she has to do in the world. So we start getting to um, know what the stakes are in the story, right? What's a, a, a normal thing this person might be doing? And we're like, oh, okay, I, I'm relating to this protagonist. Then when you get that third part of the formula, the what is different about today, you're bringing in excitement. So maybe somebody is getting attacked by a shark. Maybe your protagonist goes out surfing, you know, in Venice Beach every morning and oh my gosh, this morning there is a dorsal fin and run for your life. Very exciting opening. Okay, so I hope you can see that formula is a way to draw people in, get them to relate to your protagonist, and then give them something to get excited about, which of course is what an opening scene should be all about, is getting people excited. All right, so that's step one, use a simple formula. 
the second step, once you have that formula, is to free write your opening scene. Do minimal planning. I just gave you three questions. You don't even have to write down your answers to those three questions. You don't have to take notes. You could just have those three questions, pose them to yourself, figure out what your answers are, and start writing. Because when you take your opening scene like a free write, what you're doing is you're signaling your brain, brain, please use your creative expansive part. I don't want you to be in your analytical part. I don't want you to be judging and asking, is this right? Is that good? Should, is this going to really be the good opening to my story? Oh my gosh, is anybody going to read this book? Those questions are not helpful when you're trying to write your opening scene, right? You don't want to be in that headspace of worry. You want to be expansive and open. So if you say to yourself, self, free write, right? That's the signal to just let your ideas flow. And you will probably start coming up with some details about your world and about your protagonist that might not have even been in your conscious thought. You're going to just go, oh yeah, this is what my character's neighborhood looks like. And yeah, that is how she would act in the world. Um, so you'll get that wonderful feeling of inspiration. Once inspiration comes into the picture, all you have to do is get out of the way. You're using a formula, so you know you're going in a useful direction, and your inspiration is just going to make your words take off. All right, the third step for writing your opening scene is, in the back of your mind, know that you can change your mind later. What? So there's two parts of this. The, the first is the back of your mind. I don't want you to sit there and go, is it good? Should I change it? Should I change it? I'm not talking about making the decision to change what you're writing as you're writing it. I'm just talking about letting yourself know, I don't have to keep this. If this doesn't come out the way I want it, I don't have to keep this as my opening scene. So you're giving yourself permission to experiment. You're saying, I'm just trying this out, right? As soon as you put do you ever notice how as soon as you put just in front of something, it's not as scary? Ella and I talk about this all of the time with, we, with each other. We love it. It's one of our favorite mindset tricks. If, if you have to do something challenging, say to yourself, just, I'm just experimenting with this opening scene, seeing if I want to use it or not. Bingo, right? Then no pressure. So, you know, this is especially important. It's something you can do at any part in your drafting process, in your writing process. Um, but it's especially important for your opening scene because, you know, your book is kind of like a dance floor, this empty dance floor, and everybody has shown up and wants to have an awesome dance party. Um, yes, Shauna, exactly. It's not written in stone. It's just written on paper or it's written on your computer. So you can totally go back and change it. So your book is like this awesome dance party. And everybody has shown up and they really want this dance party to be amazing and epic and the music is going and everybody's standing out on the sides because nobody wants to be the first person to start dancing. Because that first person who starts dancing always looks a little awkward, right? You're dancing alone. There's this big empty dance floor. Everybody is scrutinizing your moves. But the dance party can't start until some brave person gets out on the dance floor. Is like, all right, I got, I got the sprinkler. I got the cabbage patch. You, you have to just get out there and start dancing. Um, and it'll feel a little, it'll feel a little awkward, but you're going to be in that experimental mode. So just, just do it. I'm just experimenting. All right. So um, that will let you write in, in a freer way if you know you can change this opening scene. And P.S. Once you have something down, you'll be able to um, use that to determine what kind of opening scene you should have. And what I mean by that is if there's nothing on the page and you have a lot of options, it's really hard to analytically choose what's the best way to start because you have a gajillion options. But once you've used this free form experimental feeling or um, approach using a, a formula, um, then you've got something. And it's a lot easier to look at something and go, why does this work or why doesn't this work, right? So then if you do decide to change it, it will be for concrete reasons. You'll go, oh no, actually, I want this different setting to be the first place that people see my character because that's what, so um, what comes to mind for me, The Hunger Games has such a great opening because the first place we see Katniss is in her like strength place. She's out in the woods hunting, right? And we're like, ooh, 
that's the first glimpse I get of this character. I'm really intrigued. If it would have started in a different setting, it might not have been as drawing. So then you can make those kinds of choices. Once you have some scene, you can say, oh, this would be better if, and you start switching out details. Okay, so um, that will, having something there will help you change your mind later. <laughs> you can't change your mind if there's nothing there. All right, so I'm recapping the three steps that you need to write a great opening scene are one, use a formula, two, be in the space of free writing and let your inspiration and intuition flow, and three, know that you can change your mind and think of this as, I'm just trying out this opening scene and I'll see if it works. If you have done those three and you are running into difficulty, I wanna give you a troubleshooting, troubleshooting pointer, a troubleshooting tip. Okay, if you call up writing tech support, beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. why isn't it working? I'm trying my opening scene and I'm following the steps and it's not working. It is very likely because you don't yet have a strong enough feel for your central conflict. If you are trying to write an opening scene and you don't know what that core of your story is, the, we call it the beating heart, the central conflict that makes everything else go, it's going to be incredibly challenging to write an opening scene that you'll end up keeping. You might write a great opening scene and go, but it's not, it doesn't feel connected to my story. I like this scene, but it's, you know, it's over here and my story is over there. Um, double check to make sure that you have a really strong sense of your central conflict um, because that's, that's what you need in order to drive in, in order to drive your whole story. Okie doke. So uh, now I'm going to give you your assignment, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> um, and it is to write your opening scene. We call this in the All Writers Welcome Academy, the lightning start. And we call it that because it's a way, bam, to just get started in an instant, in a flash. Um, and also we call it that because it, it, gives you an opening scene that is exciting. It is a bolt of lightning. It gets your whole story started. It's like, and now there's electricity that spreads throughout the rest of your pages. So um, take, your, uh, take those three questions from the formula. The, um, where would my character be on a typical day? What would she be doing on a typical day? And what's different about today? Do a little bit of thinking and go right your lightning start. <gasps> Woohoo! All right. Um, if you have questions about an opening scene or a lightning start, or if you have strategies that you love to use, please add them to the comments. And also, if you have um, questions that you would love for us to address in our regular live videos in the All Writers Welcome um, Facebook group, make sure to leave those in a comment as well. This video was inspired by somebody asking a, the question in the group, what order do you write your scenes in? And I thought, that's a really good question. We should talk about that. So if you have a really great question um, that you would like for us to answer, we encourage you to put that um, in a comment. You can tag Ella or me um, and let us know what you would most like to hear about when it comes to writing strategies, when it comes to self-publishing tips, when it comes to marketing and launching your book like a boss. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. And I will catch you in the All Writers Welcome Facebook group and at allwriterswelcome.com where you can find all of our blog posts and tons of tips and strategies. Take care.